artifacts or culture reliques, they belong to the place where they had a, a life sometimes in the past. So uh, if we remove them from there, we, uh, we take them away from their history. And if we cannot, then we should bring them to a facility very close to that, sit that place. So for the, uh, the, the sculptures from Parthenon, they belong to, to, to Acropolis. And the, in Greece, they have built a beautiful and, and a spectacular museum close to Acropolis, where you can put up the, the sculptures in the reconstruction of the, of the main temple. So to me, there's no doubt that this should, sculptures from Parthenon should not be in London or in, in Denmark. We only understand cultural reliques when they are, where they had a life in the past. And uh, if we take them away from that, and that will change their, their nature, their, their, their history, then we make a, a crime to history. It's very, very easy to return them. Uh, if, if they could bring them out of Greece, of ancient Iraq, or ancient Turkey, of China in the past, we can also bring them back. The problem is sometimes that the infrastructure in, in a state party in a country will not be developed sufficiently in order to, to accept these, these objects. That's fortunately less and less countries in the world because countries are developing rapidly and, and we get good infrastructure also, good national museums or museums everywhere. So, and if not, I think, then it's our obligation as international or global archaeologists to facilitate and assist this state party that might not have the relevant infrastructure to, to build up such an infrastructure that can handle these important objects so they can be returned. And then they would say, but then what about we lose and what should be left in the British Museum if we return everything to where they came from? No, not necessarily, because today we have technologies that can produce almost 99% copies with 3D prints. In that way, we can keep some presentation of ancient cultures from all over the world in the museum, even if we have to return the originals. So it's not a problem. We can do it and we should do it. Now, cultural heritage and history can, when it's used in the best way, be used as a reconciliation uh, to, because we do not fight about the past because the past is over, it has been there. But we can appreciate the past and we can even learn from the past, from history.